Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am doing a project that I have been meaning to do. Um, I got some clothespins and a wire wreath and this is the colors I am going to be using uh, with the project and today we are going to be making a sunflower uh, wreath with uh, clothespins and uh, this wire wreath that we got at the dollar store. It should be a fairly easy project. So basically what we're going to be doing is uh, attaching these clothespins on to this inner ring first. I tried. Okay, there is the first row. Now, what we're going to do is put uh, clothespins on the outside ring of this wreath, all the way around. there. Okay, now that we have all of our clothespins on there, we can start painting. We'll put some brown down. I don't know if I'm going to use any of the green. We'll see. I already put down some of the yellow ochre, and now I'm going to put down also a little of the medium yellow. I'm going to wait on the green. All right, so we're going to do this inner circle with the brown first. I'm going to get my brush wet. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. There's my cup. There's my cup. I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm 
and start dipping into the brown. I'm going to paint these inner clothes pins all brown. We're just going to continue this all the way around. All right, and once your brown is all dry, you can lift these up like this, you see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my brush out again. I'm going to make sure it has enough water on it. And I'm going to take my darker yellow, the yellow ochre, and I'm going to get it wet with the water from my brush and load my brush up. And I'm going to paint the inner circle. Ooh, it doesn't want to absorb to these. I'm going to paint the inner circle of the clothes pins with the darker shade of yellow. Get a little bit more paint mixed in there. Too much water. There we go. Alright, now we're just going to go around the whole thing again, the inner circle of this, and paint in all of the darker yellow. yellow. this dry for just a minute it won't take very long and then we will do the last part I'm just gonna dry brush around the outer edge a little bit just to drop a little bit of the darker yellow on the tips of these two dry enough now and I'm going to go ahead and paint in the lighter shade of yellow on the tips of the uh, clothespins on the back side here. dark paint onto the tips. I'll see how it looks though after I get done doing this. darker yellow onto this too after I get done with this lighter yellow. That's so pretty.
Now that this is all finished with drying, uh, I'm going to flip it over. And in order to keep all of these clothespins from moving, I am going to use my hot glue gun and glue them all together so that they don't move. Okay, now that I am finished with the glue, I'm going to use this nice burlap ribbon that I found also at the dollar store to make a bow. Okay, now we're gonna just flip this over. Everything is dry. And I'm going to attach my bow onto this. Probably about right here. Just fluff it out a little bit. And I am going to use hot glue to just glue it on right here. a little bit I managed to make the bow with this much ribbon to spare that worked out perfectly mm -hmm. 